Good day Aquarius and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly reading for May 27th to June 2nd. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're uh, doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. Ten of spades. Eight of Clubs, the Joker, and the Two of Diamonds. Oh boy. So, your general energy uh, for the uh, week is the Two of Diamonds. Yeah, somebody's cheating. Somebody, this doesn't need to be romantic cheating. This can be a friend cheating on you, a business partner cheating on you, or a friend cheating on you. Just somebody's doing something st backstabby behind your back. Uh, now, this can also be you doing the cheating, or, or both, you know, uh, s since it's in this position. Uh, so you could be dealing with multiple cheating throughout the uh, week. Uh, backstabbing, you know, energy, or you could be just dealing with one, and that one can actually be you cheating. So what do you do here? Well, when you find out who's cheating, who's backstabbing, you got to decide if you're going to uh, keep that person in your life, you know, or are you going to kick them to the curb and move on? Uh, if it's you cheating, then I guess you need to figure out you know, why? Why are you being backstabby towards uh, somebody else? You know, why are you cheating? And and what's the, uh, the, what's the worth of this, you know? I think that when people are cheating, I don't care if it's a romantic, you know, love type relationship or, or friendship. Uh, I think that, you know, it's time to separate at least. At least separate, you know, uh, because they're not doing you any good. You're not doing them any good. And that's just, you know common sense uh at the beginning of the week you have the ten of spades so you're going to be disappointed and sad uh at the beginning of the week and maybe maybe this is when you find out about the cheating or maybe this is when you realize that you're cheating you know uh it can be either or or both um, and that brings you disappointment and sadness. In the middle of the week it looks like you're going to need to make a compromise. It's neither good or bad it can be in love so this can be a love situation here of some sort and if not you know it's a friend or a family member or whatever that you got to make a compromise with uh the only thing that you need to be careful of is getting the short end of the stick so make sure you don't get the sword in the sticks but when you go confront the person you're making the compromise with about the short end of the stick, do not come at them aggressively. Even if you think they're doing, you know, they're doing you wrong on purpose, uh, they might not be. They might not realize they gave you the short end of the stick. Okay, uh, even if you feel like they, they know, you know, like you have this feeling that they did it on purpose. Still, don't come at them aggressively. That's only going. That's going to make it worse, and the compromise might not even happen then. Uh, and I feel like you need this compromise to happen. Uh, this can be with a cheater or who you're cheating on or whatever. Uh, now, uh, when you come to them, come to them cool, calm, collective, you know, just be like, look, if we do it this way, then, you know, I get this short end of the stick here, whatever it may be. Uh, and they should, you know, uh, reply just as calmly as you came at them but if you come at them aggressively that's just going to make them aggressive you know that energy is just going to bounce right off of them so do not come at them aggressively uh at the end of the week it looks like you have a positive risk ahead of you a, a leap of faith that you could take um but your past might be holding you back uh now i know that a lot of times stuff like this comes up for 
for Aquarius and I think it's because it's hard for Aquarius to let go of loved ones to let go of their past and whatnot and as you can see this weight here this is the weight of his past holding them back and he's looking back wondering you know should I go or should I not go and the son is saying go forward go forward take that leap of faith uh, just make sure to plan and prepare uh, for what's coming ahead even though it is a leap of faith you don't really know uh, what is ahead you know you just know what the positive thing is that you can go towards but you don't know how those things are going to work out but with this card usually it works out pretty damn good so uh, I would definitely take the leap of faith and leave your past behind and you know live for you uh, but of course that's your choice um, but this is like something that's going to bring you to zero you're going to feel very innocent when you uh, take this leap of faith because this will be a new beginning now this can be a new relationship this can be a new job this can be a new home this could be all of the above this could be a completely new life you know hence why your past would try to hold you back because that means there might not be uh, a place for your past here in the future and this new beginning uh, ahead of you but of course that's if you even take the leap of faith right so let's go ahead and see what the uh, tarot cards have to say universe speak spirits guide what needs to be known what lessons need to be learned mm. Okay, you got the Five of Pentacles. In the Five of Pentacles, this man's injured. This woman looks like she's been homeless for quite a long while. But the basic thing is, is that they're broken down. And they're looking for shelter. They're looking for sanctuary. They're looking for help. And they're looking for it in this church that they're walking by, right? They're going to walk into this church and look for help. And I feel like maybe you need that. Maybe you need uh, some help. Uh, maybe you feel beaten, battered, you know, just tired and worn down and you need sanctuary you need to get away uh so and i would definitely say that this positive risk ahead of you would be a sanctuary i feel like that's what this is is a sanctuary in front of you uh but your past wants to hold you back i feel like your past uh, which is possibly your present at this point in time, is wearing you down. It's it's breaking you down, and you need a break. You need to you need to find sanctuary. You need to go forward and find sanctuary, uh, and whatnot. So that's what I'm seeing here. Uh, so definitely, uh, for some of you, I feel like this isn't like a whole new life or a whole new job or anything. Some of you, because of this card, I feel like it's just you looking to get away from your past for a minute and get some rest and 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 you know not have to deal with everything uh in your life back there you know and you're possibly you know question if you should do it or not but i think you should maybe you need a vacation you know some kind of some sort of vacation uh and find that sanctuary you know that rest uh so that you can better deal with your past you know what i'm saying or your present or whatever uh so yeah there's cheating going on there's definitely cheating going on. Somebody's cheating somebody. That's going to lead you to disappointment and sadness. Okay. There's a compromise. Neither good or bad. But just make sure that you don't get the short end of the stick. And don't go towards them aggressively. Come at this person. You know, cool and calm. You know, with your concerns. And um, if you're looking, if you're beaten down. If you're just, you know, you need a rest. Take it. Your life in the past will still be there waiting for you, okay? So there you go. I hope this resonated. I hope it helps in some way. And if it does, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.